clinical features. Now, we are going to know clinical diagnosis, how to diagnose iron deficiency anemia clinically by finding the general features of anemia, pallor. Pallor is a general feature of anemia in the mucous membrane in the skin nail pit. Dyspnea, shortness of breath or dyspnea, because of hypoxia, especially on exercise, palpitation, because of hypoxia and the compensatory mechanism we mentioned, increase uh, stroke volume, heart rate, weakness and fatigue ability, hypoxia, headache. All of these symptoms uh, are due to hypoxia and the compensatory mechanism occurs in the iron deficiency anemia and any type of anemia. So they are general. Now we will uh, talk about the specific features of iron deficiency anemia. We have a very characteristic uh, criteria in iron deficiency anemia. It's called PICA. PICA is eating undesirable food or un strange food. Like here in iron deficiency anemia, the patients of iron deficiency anemia tend to eat uh, ice. This is strange, but it is... Uh, com uh, uh, Documented that beaker in iron deficiency anemia. Another uh, sign in iron deficiency anemia and the other nutritional anemia is the atrophic glycides, atrophy of the tongue papilla. Atrophy of the tongue papilla, you can see nutritional deficiency anemia, so it is common to find atrophic glycides, atrophy of the tongue papilla. And also angular stomatitis, nutritional deficiency. Cholinicia or spooning nail, we mentioned before, cholinicia, spooning or concavity of the nail bit. You can see here also concavity. It is against the normal. Uh, plumber Vinson syndrome or patterson kelly syndrome. It is two names for one disease. Uh, plumber Vinson syndrome is a name used in USA and patterson kelly syndrome it is a name used in UK. It is iron deficiency anemia. In addition to difficulty in swallowing uh, food, what's called dysphagia, with esophageal web on the radiological investigation. When doing x-ray, we can see uh, uh, esophageal web. The importance of this syndrome is that it is precancerous. Cancerous esophagus is common uh, in uh, these patients. Uh, now we will go to the laboratory diagnosis. Laboratory diagnosis is important to confirm the clinical suspicions that it is iron deficiency anemia. In any type of anemia, the first laboratory diagnosis is complete blood count or what's called CBC. CBC, it, it is now uh, going by uh, cell counter, automated cell counter. We can you know the white blood cells and the red blood cells and the platelets by histograms and by also the, uh, the counts and blood picture or what's called peripheral blood smear. This is peripheral blood smear. You can put a drop of blood and spread this drop in order to make a smear and stain it and uh, the blood uh, smear uh, can be seen down the microscope in order to see the blood cells. Uh, iron studies to confirm that it's iron deficiency anemia. So complete blood count or CBC, you can know that it is anemia by reduction of hemoglobin, RPC count, BCV or hematocrit. So it is anemia. The type of anemia, we can know the type of anemia from the RBCs indices. What are the RBCs indices? MCV, MCH and MCHC. So we can know that it's microcytic hypochromic from the RBCs indices. Microcytic, small. We can see it in the peripheral blood smear, small red blood cells. Uh, and the hypochromic, we can see it also in the peripheral uh, blood smear uh, with pencil. Pencil, we can see the pencil in the microcytic hypochromic, we can see in the peripheral blood smear or blood film. And we can confirm that it is microcytic hypochromic from the red blood cell in this is from the chart or histogram or the uh, print from the cell counter. Iron studies are important to confirm the 
clinical and laboratory suspicious that it is iron deficiency anemia by finding decreasing of the iron profile. Iron profile is serum iron, decrease in the serum iron, decrease in the serum ferritin or the stored iron, and decrease in saturation of transfer. Transferrin is the protein that transport the iron. From its name, it is transferrin, transport iron, ferrin. So decrease in saturation, no iron on the transferrin, so decrease in uh, saturation. But at the same time, the transferring capacity to bind to the iron is increased. What's called the total iron binding capacity. Total iron binding capacity is increased. This is very important. Bone marrow aspiration uh, in very rare condition we can do bone marrow to complete the diagnosis but the, already the diagnosis is okay from the iron profile from the blood sample and the iron profile but the bone marrow aspiration if we do bone marrow aspiration we will find that no iron stain no no iron in the bone marrow if we stain the iron by special stain called perals reaction or prussian blue stain we will find that there is no iron this is a normal bone marrow stain by iron stain beryl's action prussian blue you can see here uh, iron is present blue discoloration very marked and here also iron is present here deficiency but we can see some iron but here there is a severe deficiency and then no iron can be seen what's called negative or no stainable iron in severe iron deficiency but the uh, bone marrow and the stem cell are, are normal but only the deficiency in the iron so the bone marrow will try to compensate by increasing the production what's called the hypercellular erythropoiesis to compensate but the problem is that it will produce micro normoblasts. So the immature blood cells are also small, what's called micro normoblasts. Treatment of the iron deficiency, the most important is the treatment of the cause. You have to treat the cause before starting oral iron or uh, parenteral iron or injectable iron. Oral iron preparation, ferrous sulfate, should be given to the patient for 6 to 12 months after correcting the parameters like hemoglobin, RPC count, hematocrit. Why we will continue for 6 to 12 months in order to fill the iron stores? Iron stores, ferritin, hemocidrine, we should increase the levels of the iron stores. Iron absorption, vitamin C, uh, very helpful in the absorption of the iron. So it is uh, important and advisable to uh, take the orange juice or lemon juice or any vitamin C flavors in, in our diet. And avoid drinking of tea. Avoid drinking of tea. You should avoid drinking of tea after a meal. If the patient is not tolerating, if the patient is not tolerating the oral iron, we have to uh, give the parenteral iron or injectable iron. Injection of the iron, injection for the pregnant who are uh, complaining from nausea or for those who have gastritis uh, or those who need to rapid effect because of the severe iron deficiency anemia. Sometimes there is failure of response. There is a resistant cases uh, in iron deficiency anemia because we didn't uh, treat the cause. We started by giving iron to in order to correct the, uh, the iron, but we didn't treat the cause. And the, uh, we mentioned before, treatment of the cause is most important and is more important than giving the iron. Uh, another cause of the failure or resistance of the, uh, to the iron therapy is the wrong diagnosis. Wrong diagnosis. It may be other cause of microcytic hypochromic anemia. 
microcytic hypochromic anemia there is other causes of the microcytic hypochromic anemia it is not only iron uh, we have chronic diseases this is the second cause of microcytic hypochromic anemia chronic inflammation chronic malignancy uh, autoimmune disease and we have also another disease called sideroblastic anemia in sideroblastic anemia there is a block in the combining of protoperferin with the iron so no heme so it will be decrease in the hemoglobin concentration inside the red blood cells with microcytic hypochromic anemia also another disease we will discuss in details which is called thalassemia the defect in the amino acids in the globin chain in the globin chain you can see the, the defect in the globin chain in thalassemia globin chain it is not heme so uh, no globin to bind with the heme so no hemoglobin so microcytic hypochromic anemia so we have to diagnose the condition precisely in order to get the response uh, anemia of the chronic disease most of the anemia of the chronic disease are normocytic normochronic while one third of the anemia of the chronic disease are microcytic hypochromic anemia anemia of the chronic disease it occur in chronic conditions like uh, inflammation infections tuberculosis uh, immune autoimmune like rheumatoid arthritis malignancy and it has a multifactorial uh, cause but the cytokines play an Im important role in the in this type of uh, anemia two-thirds of the patients as we mentioned is uh, uh, the patients two-thirds of the patient are normal chromic normal cytic. so more commonly to be normal cytic normal chromic while one-third of the patients uh, of anemia of chronic disorders uh, are microcytic hypochromic Thank you. And uh, as we mentioned in the first slide, we have to uh, search for uh, more uh, and, uh, and uh, about the iron deficiency anemia in the textbooks.